The players are always quick to notice small details in wrestling games. Although these small details don't impact the quality of the gameplay, they do show players that the developers have thought about every little thing that is going to be presented in the game. With 2K developers having longer than usual to make 2K22, <laughs> about two years, and to try and make it the best wrestling game possible, it looks like there are a ton of little hidden details in the game which you might not have noticed, and obviously which will no doubt delight players when the game is released in March. But which tiny details are they? Well join us now as WrestleMania looks at 10 tiny details in WWE 2K22 that you may have missed. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're the first to know when we upload a video. Number 10. Weapons actually get damaged. A weapon involvement in the past few installments of the 2K series has received backlash for how they've been handling weapons in the game. Specifically, how weapons don't tend to show any damage on them even if after you've hit them about 58 times on an opponent. And WWE 2K have amended this for 2K22 in chairs, tables and kendo sticks can gradually break as they're used throughout the matchup. Oh, this makes perfect logical sense and it accurately reflects how weapons would be damaged in an actual match. This change also occurs to the barricade. Barricade spots are common and WWE 2K likes to reuse the same animation of a superstar going through the barricade, but not this time. WWE 2K developers have revealed that how a superstar will go through the barricade will depend on their weight distribution. So Brock Lesnar going through the barricade is certainly going to be different than Rey Mysterio going through the barricade. This is a welcome change that will no doubt make performing spots on the outside of the ring way more exciting. Number 9. Modern Day Shawn Michaels Due to the sheer amount of exciting details in the gameplay footage released by WWE 2K22, players were quick to miss out on one little detail. This game features the video game debut of Modern Day Shawn Michaels. Now when we talk about Modern Day HBK, we're referring to HBK with a bald head and sports gear. This version of HBK could be seen alongside Beth Phoenix coaching some young talents in the WWE Performance Center. It's unknown if this version of HBK will be a playable character in the game as, after all, he had just one match using this new look, but it's great to see that WWE 2K have finally accurately represented Mr. WrestleMania in the game. Number 8. The fans in the Thunderdome are WWE 2K developers When the COVID-19 pandemic hit the world in 2020, WWE would be forced to change how they conduct their shows. Eventually, WWE decided to introduce fans to the WWE Thunderdome. This would feature fans on LED boards rather than having them in attendance. 2K have decided to include the Thunderdome as a playable arena in WWE 2K22 and this makes up for one of the 55 playable arenas that are featured in the game. And it looks like the fans in the Thunderdome are WWE 2K developers as this is likely the only way 2K could use the licensing of people's actual image without having any legal repercussions. Number 7. Fans are in t-shirts from the time period and one of the most difficult things to do as a developer is to make players feel like they're in a different era. This is especially hard in wrestling games, but WWE 2K have tried their best to achieve this with the release of 2K22. Now one of the ways they've achieved this is by having fans represent the era that players are currently wrestling in. For instance, if players are wrestling a match in showcase mode from WrestleMania 21, all the fans in the crowd will be wearing t-shirts and merchandise from that time period. This means that you likely won't see anyone wearing a Roman Reigns t-shirt if you're in a wrestling match that took place 20 years ago. You'll be more likely to see NWO, Undertaker and DX shirts. Now this is a smart move from 2K and one that players will be quick to acknowledge and appreciate. Number 6. Release really Superstars Merchandise in the Crowd? Between 2020 and 2022, WWE have released more superstars than ever before. This has naturally made it extremely difficult for 2K to handle as every time they think they've perfected the roster, WWE just goes ahead and releases another half a dozen superstars. Now, although it's unclear how many release WWE superstars in the game itself, we do know that Mickey James' merchandise is being worn in the crowd. Our fans can be seen wearing Mickey t-shirts during some gameplay footage and it's entirely possible that 2K intended to remove this before the game was shown, but they either forgot or hoped nobody would notice. Number 5. Mouths open all the way One of the many criticisms of WWE 2K20 was the animations of WWE superstars were very lazily put together. This criticism included comments relating to how 2K animated mouths in the game. 
For whatever reason, 2K rendered mouth animations by not allowing the mouth to open all the way. This was seen during Roman Reigns' entrance as he would perform a signature taunt but his mouth barely moved. Thankfully this has been fixed in 2K22. Now superstars such as Reigns have a realistic mouth and it actually opens all the way meaning superstars can finally perfect their signature taunts. Number 4. Hair Physics in relation to criticism of prior WWE 2K installments, another common criticism centered around the fact is that hair physics in the game looked absolutely terrible. I mean, need we remind everybody of Bianca Belair's entrance? The hair on WWE superstars looked unrealistic and for the most part, it looked like it hadn't even been rendered properly. 2K have made the conscious effort to fix this and the hair physics look a lot better. In fact, it looks like the hair moves naturally and can change when a high impact move is performed on a specific superstar. Just look at when The Undertaker bounces Shawn Michaels off the ring. Number 3, Shawn Michaels is wearing an Eddie Guerrero tribute band. Now this year's showcase mode focuses on wrestling legend Rey Mysterio. During his wrestling career, Mysterio has had a number of iconic matches that have lasted the test of time. One of these matches was his match with Shawn Michaels from Raw in 2005. This match would be presented on Eddie Guerrero's tribute episode of Raw, therefore it has a lot of special meaning to fans as well as Mysterio and HBK. This match will be included in Mysterio showcase mode and interestingly, 2K have tried to mimic the match as much as possible. They've even added small touches like even include a Guerrero tribute band on HBK's arm just like he did in the match. This is a great little touch and will no doubt make fans of Guerrero smile whenever they get to play through the mode. Number 2. Referees are in accurate attire for the time period. But speaking of Rey Mysterio's showcase mode, thanks to gameplay footage, we know that one of the matches in the mode is Mysterio's all-time classic against Eddie Guerrero, which happened from WrestleMania 21. Now, eagle-eyed players will be quick to notice that the referee in the match is wearing a blue SmackDown referee shirt just like they did during the Ruthless Aggression era. This is a fantastic little detail that will mean a lot to fans of this era. The same can be said about the classic striped referee shirt with the old WWE logo. During footage of Mysterio's match with Kane from the 2008 Cyber Sunday pay-per-view, the referee can be seen wearing the classic referee shirt design. And number 1. Special Weapons now, During the aforementioned footage of Rey Mysterio's showcase mode match against Kane, players can see that Mysterio uses a stop sign. This means that the stop sign will be finally once again be a usable weapon in the game. It's about time 2K introduced some brand new weapons into the game and this has led to a ton of speculation in relation to what other classic weapons could be included in the game. A nice little easter egg is that a stop sign was actually used in the Mysterio vs Kane match from Cyber Sunday and was actually used in the manner that the gameplay footage showed. And this shows that 2K developers have studied how the match went and introduced key details that would act as great callbacks for players. But there you have it folks, 10 tiny details you missed in 2K22. Be sure to leave your comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling video game content.